It's video day! It's video day, okay? But this is a special video day. Because first off, I have this gimbal. So in order to make the uh, Twitch streams more quality, Twitch TV slash Captain Leroy Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I need to get something worked out, okay? I've got a one PC setup I'm about to show you. Here we go, let me flip this around. Welcome to the Captain Leroy Command Center. It is dirty. There is a speaker and cookies, but you can't have any. Thaddeus, get out of here. What you see before you is what brings you the most entertainment that you have ever experienced. I buy power, I think is what it's called, or cyber something. That's a caution, that's a caution sticker. What do you put in a chassis laden with such symbology and iconographic value? Vodka. Uh, an RTX. We'll pop her open, I'll show you what's inside. There we go. Okay, so we got a, we got a fan, we got a couple fans in here, it looks pretty good. Just got this beautiful GeForce RTX something. <laughs> it's i7-7700, I got the Elgato Game Capture, the, 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 clip, the clip one. 60 Pro, I think is what it's called, yes? 16 gigs of RAM, not sure the type of RAM. DDR5, I'm assuming. Probably should update the, the processor, but, you know, time will tell. Anyway, as beastly as it is, it doesn't quite do the stream justice. I still have issues like encoding overloaded or video is mm, too much or something. So, I've always thought about doing a second PC. I'm shooting this on a cell phone, so don't judge me. This guy was selling his little, it was like a mini PC, uh, and it wasn't even that great. It had like a 660 in it or something. Um, and it was real little and it was like 300 bucks for the whole thing. So I was like, sure, it comes with a motherboard, you know, a, a tiny one and maybe I can have a little, just a tiny little streaming PC, but I never really set it up. And then my wife liked to play The Sims. So I did what I could, we got, we got a new case for it, but you're gonna laugh when you see this. <laughs> There's two other screws. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Captain Leroy Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Oh. Okay. Don't worry, it's plastic. It's plastic, not glass. So, because I had a recent birthday, this is what was originally in the computer. This is the R9-290X. Uh, hang on. This is the R9-290X. This was in my computer a couple years ago. And then uh, every couple years, I'll upgrade the, the GPU. So it went from the R9 to the uh, 1070, and the 1070 has just is awesome. Now that I have the RTX 2070, I can then replace the R9 in here with the 1070, which gives it more power, more capabilities to stream. Hopefully it'll give me more camera technique. Mm. You see how small the motherboard is? I think it's a micro ATX, ITX, I don't know, IDK, but it's very tiny. It only has one PCIe slot, and that is for the graphics card. Uh, you got a fan, I'm pretty sure it's got an i5 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, so hopefully that would be plenty to take the load off of the old beastly computer, because you know that like a Call of Duty is very CPU intensive, and, and when you're streaming, it's just best not to, you know, have all that lag, and I mean, not even lag, it's just stuttery frame dropping, and and all this stuff it's just it's just heavy on the old CPU so I do need to upgrade the CPU however I do have options and that's what today's video is going to be about we are going to embark on an amazing journey a journey of which no one has gone on before in this house I mean other people have done it multiple times with better equipment but I'm gonna attempt to set up a second streaming computer or a streaming computer second computer first streaming computer Two computers, one function, game, stream. You follow me? Good, come along. Step number one, when you're entering the second PC zone, get yourself a cookie, okay? Keep that blood sugar up. Step number two, make sure you unplug, that's why that piece, that's why that monitor is unplugged, in case you didn't figure it out. That's gonna be my streaming computer monitor. Now, I don't really, if you look at the desk, I don't really have a ton of space. I could probably put it down there. Oh. I could probably put it down there. That's where my PlayStation is right now. And I'll just move the PlayStation over and just have the streaming PC underneath right there. I, ha I have that one up top because that way it's easier to 
disconnect cables and things like that. But I may not need to. Maybe I need to put uh, my main gaming computer down there. This is all things that we're learning. Okay. So we're going to um, we're just gonna plug her up and see what see what happens. it gets a little bit confusing. Fan is cranked because it's hot. Capture card that's in there needs to be in there. The problem is that doesn't have room for a graphics card and a capture, capture card. So it needs to be external, I think. You know, I might actually have one of those. Oh, that's funny. This is actually the, uh, yeah, it was a 660. This is what was in the, this was in it before. Uh, subscribe now for a chance to win this GTX 10, uh, 660 Ti. Or you can be the first person to watch me burn it. I'm pretty sure I've got another Elgato around here. There's a literal bowl in here. What is this? Star Wars. Ooh, pop filter. If we got it, it's not in there. Eh. See, look, clean as a whistle. Oh, the good old days. Ah, nothing. <clears throat> Not sponsored. Okay, so uh, this is the prima primary gaming computer. You see, I've got my OBS opened up, and I can do things like this. <laughs> Subscribe. Shut up, Gooch. Um, Gooch is here. There we go. Give it a little mute there. Gooch is now muted. Excellent. Uh, I can see his little green thing going off. He's probably shouting at the top of his lungs, but no one can hear him. Nobody. Anyway, so I installed the uh, NDI plugin for OBS. What that's going to allow me to do, if you don't know what that is, is you install OBS on your on your two computers. You hit NDI. You output this to the streaming one, and that way it's going to show everything that is that is in here. So I can still control my scenes. You know, I can still control this from here, and it will be. That's going to be taking the main hit. It's going to be taking the encoding and all that stuff. So it won't take up all of my usage and encoding and all that stuff. So I still have to update the uh, the drivers because I haven't turned the thing on since I put the 1070 in it. Um, so have it updated. Probably Windows update. Hopefully it doesn't have to be Ethernet connected to the router because it's it. I don't have a second Ethernet cable. I could probably just go buy one. But I've got a Wi-Fi thing on it. If that works, then great. But if it doesn't. And I might need to uh, invest in a long, a second long Ethernet cable. So we'll see how it goes. Day two. <laughs> this is great, isn't it? Don't you love when you can't get it done in one sitting? Okay, so here's where I'm at. I got the PC plugged in. I got the keyboard, okay? Updates. Very important. So when it's done updating, we'll see what we can do. Install what we need to install. Okay, stay tuned. All right, here we go. Got a nice Valorant uh, training going in. This is my main computer. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> look, I'm, I'm recording on a cell phone. I don't know if you can see that. It's on a cell phone. Great camera. Okay, so what I did was I managed to get the second PC, the gaming PC, working. No cables required using the NDI plugin. Kind of talked about this yesterday. Uh, tools, and I got that NDI option right there. So now... I put the same software on this, and all it's doing is mirroring my gaming PC. This is just going to stream, gaming computer is just going to game. And then it should be a lot smoother. You can see my NDI source, all my audio is coming through, check, check, check. I can switch my, um, my scenes if I want to, all for my main stuff. This is just on the side. Mission accomplished. Streaming setup, streaming computer complete. Which is good, because I've been meaning to do that for... A while. So, anyway, Twitch News, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Check it out.